There is truly a heartbeat in this hospital. A commitment to take care of everyone who comes to us, regardless of their ability to pay. You will see humanity in its rawest and sweetest forms here. Volunteers can make a difference in the lives of patients, their families, and the staff. It's not only the tasks you perform that matter, but the way in which you do those tasks with heart. I've been in healthcare for over 10 years, and the service that this hospital provides is bar none the best I've seen, and that makes me very proud to work here. We serve the underserved and the unfunded, and that really gives me the heart for the mission and for the work that we do here. And so I have a very special tie to this hospital, and um, so I'm just glad for volunteer services and for any help that someone brings. And even though tasks can be so seemingly small in the clinical setting, they're huge. Like, it's huge when we don't have the time to take someone in a wheelchair downstairs that's being discharged. It's huge whenever we have water and ice pitchers, whenever we're trying to give medications, whenever it's not there before. So so those things really allow us to have more time to be, um, to be present and to do the clinical things that we need to do. When getting to your service area, Write your name and your shift time on the white board at the nurse's station. Introduce yourself and ask if they need any help before you start making your rounds. And if anyone asks or you can tell the staff isn't quite sure what you've been trained to do, we'll tell them. As a volunteer, the support you provide will help lighten the workload for the clinical assistants and you'll earn their trust and they'll come to depend on you. Thanks, I appreciate it. As a CA, there is a lot of tasks that need to be done, and having a volunteer um, assist us makes a lot of difference. And having them go in, in patients' rooms and asking them what they need is a very big deal because we won't always be there. And as a volunteer, it's good to be proactive. To best do your job, it's important to put yourself in the patient's shoes, so to speak. Think of this analogy. Have you ever found yourself on the freeway driving behind a large semi-truck? Perhaps you start to feel a little irritated or anxious the longer that you drive along and you're asking yourself what is causing that anxiety. Well, you're anxious because you can't see what's next. You don't know what's ahead and you feel less in control of your situation. Well, that is exactly how patients can feel. There are simple things that you can do to make patients and their family members feel less anxious and more comfortable. Pay attention to the patient room environment and think of the patient first. Treat them with kindness and compassion. Good morning, Mr. Tyler. My name is Chris. I'm a volunteer here today. I'm here to help make your day as good as possible. Is there anything I can help you with today? Okay, I see it says NPO on your door, but let me go check with the nurse and see if that's still active. The nurse says it's okay. I'm gonna remove this sign, and I'm gonna go get you some water. After your initial visits to help each patient, go back to the patient who seems down or lonely and ask if they'd like some company. Taking time with a patient can sometimes be the best medicine. Hi, I'm Martha. I'm a volunteer. How are you this morning? I'm good, thank you. When delivering a food tray, give the patient an opportunity to have a voice by asking if the food in their tray is what they ordered. Does that sound like what you ordered? It sure does. Good. Would you happen to have another one of those trays available? No, I'm sorry. We don't have enough food for family and visitors, but we have a lovely cafeteria downstairs. I'll move this in where you can get to it. All right. Offer your assistance if you think the patient might not be able to cut their food or open a milk carton. If they want more water, ask if they'd like some ice or a straw. I think you. You're very welcome. Enjoy. Volunteers can become the eyes and ears of the staff by looking for ways to make the patient's environment better, like taking out the soiled linen bag, adjusting the blinds if needed, 
looking for things in the room that might become a fall hazard, or if the room is cold, ask if another blanket might be helpful. The key is to always pay attention. Take care, Miss Miller. Paying attention to your surroundings becomes an important part of your role. And this includes reading the signs on the patient doors, which will help you understand what supplies the staff will need in the carts located just outside the contact precaution rooms. Disinfect the computer stands outside the rooms and IV pole stands once a patient has been discharged. Always remember, the tasks you perform may seem small, but they become important to the person in the bed. We need volunteers who take pride in their service here. What I found in my time volunteering is it's amazing what the little things that we can do for the patients positively affect their experience. And little things like when you go in and ask a patient if they want ice water, ask them, do you want half ice or all ice in your iced water? And they, I've had patients look at me a little funny um, because they're not used to being given a choice. When you enter their room, that's their little home for however long they're there. Can we get a volunteer to come help us in here? Please? Be ready to help the staff when asked. Hello, Things like providing wheelchair transport. Mm -hmm. Always tell the patient your name and that you're a volunteer. Make eye contact and smile. All these things help demonstrate a caring attitude. To prepare for transport once the patient is seated in the wheelchair, make sure their feet are on the footrests and then ask if they're ready before you start moving. Being a volunteer has given me a chance to really move past myself for at least three hours a week while I'm here and be here for the patients and be here to serve and to not be here for myself or just to get hours, but to really focus on the patient experience and helping the nurses.